Hi students, today we'll be touching on the topic of the human circulatory system. Here are some guiding questions that we will be looking at today. Firstly, what is the circulatory system made up of? Next, how do the different parts of the circulatory system work together? And lastly, how do the different systems in the body work together? To start off, what is the circulatory system? It is made up of three things, the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood. Hmm, so what is the heart? Many of us would immediately think of this. However, in reality, our hearts look like this. Our heart is a muscular organ near the middle part of our chest. Do you recall placing your fist over the left part of your chest when you say the National Pledge? That's where your heart is. Next, our heart is a vital organ that pumps blood to all parts of the body. In order to pump the blood, our heart has special muscles called heart muscles. But what's so special about these muscles? Although we, cannot con we, although we can control our arm and leg muscles, we cannot control our heart muscles. That's why our heart muscles are special. This is how it looks like when your, a heart beats. A heart beat is a cycle of contraction and relaxation of heart muscles. Here is how it looks like in slow motion. As mentioned, each heartbeat consists of contraction and relaxation of the heart muscles. The average rate of heartbeats is about 60 to 70 times per minute. It also changes according to three factors. Age, health, and the type of activity that the person is doing. Now, try and put two fingers on your wrist as shown. Do you feel a pulse? Why is this so? This is because, with each heartbeat, a pressure wave is passed along the blood vessels. Hence, this is called a pulse, which you felt earlier in the mini activity. So, how can you measure your own pulse rate? Place two fingers along your wrist and pause the video. Count the number of pulses you felt in a minute. Then, unpause the video and continue the lesson. The number of pulses measured in a minute is our pulse rate. Similar to the heartbeat, the normal pulse rate is about 60 to 70 times a minute. Hence, the faster our heart beats, the higher the pulse rate. Hmm, so what happens when we exercise? When we exercise, our heart rate increases. But why is this so? Firstly, our body requires a greater supply of digested food and oxygen that is carried in the blood to various parts of the body. Secondly, the blood also rapidly removes the carbon dioxide produced. This is because the digested food and oxygen are used for respiration to release energy for you to exercise. You may want to pause the video to copy down the notes. Do you remember what respiration is? In our previous video on energy in food, we had discussed about respiration where glucose and oxygen were combined to produce carbon dioxide and water. It occurs in all living things and it occurs all the time. A common misconception that most students have is that we breathe more deeply when we exercise because we are tired. However, this is not true. The correct concept is that we breathe more deeply because we need more oxygen to release the energy. Our heart also has to pump faster to transport the oxygen-rich blood to the muscles. Please take this down as most students will answer this wrongly during an exam. Next, we'll be talking about blood vessels. Hmm, what are blood vessels? They are tubes which blood flows through. 
We usually call them a network of blood vessels. And these blood vessels are either from the heart to all parts of the body or from all parts of the body back to the heart. There are three types of blood vessels, the arteries, the capillaries, and the veins. Arteries mostly carry oxygen-rich blood from the heart to all parts of the body, while veins mostly carry oxygen-poor blood from all parts of the body to the heart. Blood vessels help exchange materials between the blood and the cells of the body. The blood which contains oxygen, water, and digested food will pass through the blood vessels and into the cells. The cells which contain carbon dioxide and waste materials will pass through the blood vessels and into the blood to be transported away. Do you recall how carbon dioxide is removed from the body? It will be removed through the lungs as you exhale. But how does the heart, blood vessels and the blood work together? Firstly, the heart pumps blood that is rich in oxygen and poor in carbon dioxide to all parts of the body through the blood vessels as shown by the red arrow. Then, as the blood reaches the cells of the body, carbon dioxide will enter the blood vessel and be carried by blood. Hence, blood poor in oxygen and rich in carbon dioxide will return to the heart, as shown by the blue arrow. Next, as the heart pumps again, the blood poor in oxygen and rich in carbon dioxide will be transported to the lungs. At the lungs, carbon dioxide will be removed while oxygen will enter the blood vessels. The blood which is now rich in oxygen and poor in carbon dioxide will return back to the heart. The cycle will then repeat continuously to supply your body cells with oxygen and to remove carbon dioxide for you to survive. Now, moving on to the last guiding question. How does the circulatory system work with other systems? So far, we have learned about some of the systems in our body, such as the circulatory system, respiratory system, as well as the digestive system. Pause the video now and consider which system is the most important in our body. Let's start with the digestive system. When food enters the digestive system, the digested food gets transported to the circulatory system where it gets pumped to all parts of the body. Next, as air enters the, circulatory, the respiratory system, the oxygen from air will be transported to the circulatory system where it gets pumped to all parts of the body. Together, all three systems enable the cells in the body to produce energy through respiration using glucose from the digested food and oxygen. And that concludes the end of the lesson. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. This video is brought to you by Project Love of Learning from Hua Chong Institution.